Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of proportionality, specifically how we can find a percent when we are given the part and the whole, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So here's a sample problem that you might see on an assignment. During the student council election, 444 students voted for Jane and 296 students voted for Jim. What percentage, so that's what we're looking for, of students voted for Jane? Well, the equation that we need to keep in mind whenever we're dealing with proportions, we're dealing with parts, wholes, and percents, is that the part divided by the whole, that's what makes the percent. And so they're going to give you two of these, and your job is going to be to find the third. So in this case, we are looking for the percent. This is our missing number right here, this percent. So we need to see what is our part and what is our whole. First, what percentage of students voted for Jane? So Jane had 444. 444 students voted for Jane, so that's going to be our part. But the other number there is not the whole. We had 296 students voting for Jim. That's another part. The whole is actually not given to us. We have to do an extra step before we can find the whole. We need to add 444 and 296. Once we see how many students voted in total, then we will get our whole. So we've got 740 students that voted. And out of that 740 students, 444 of those voted for Jane. Now we can find our percent. So we're going to be looking for our percent here. And so this fraction here is a division problem. So let's just divide up. Let's just divide 740 into 444. You can take any fraction, turn it into a decimal, simply by dividing up the numerator into the denominator. And from a decimal, it's easy to get to a percent. We know 740 is not going to go into 444, but we can add a decimal and a zero so we can extend that. Now we need to do a little bit of estimation. I know that 7 times 5, that's going to be 35. And so 7 times 6, that's going to be 42. So let me go ahead and try 7 times 6. Let's see what happens if I get 740 times 6. I think that's going to give me closer to 4. 1440. So that's going to be 24, 42, 44. And look at that. It goes exactly without any need to do any more division here. So we have 0 0.6, 444 divided by 740 equals 0 0.6 or 6 tenths. And when we want to turn that into a percent, that's pretty simple. Move the decimal over once, twice. To the right, if you have a blank spot, you can put a zero, and you have your answer of 60%. So what percentage of students voted for Jane? We could say 60% of the students voted for Jane. Let's look at another example. Take a look at this problem. At a large high school, 130 teachers were women and 95 teachers were men. Of all the teachers, 180 wore glasses or contact lenses. What percent of the teachers did not, so that's our key word, wear glasses or contact lenses? Well, remember when we're looking at a proportion, we need a part and the whole. Once we have those two, we can divide and we can get what we're looking for, which is our percent. But in this case, we don't have either of those. The whole number of teachers is going to be 130 plus 95 because 130 were women and 95 were men. So our whole not given to us is 225. Now it says 180 teachers wore glasses or contact lenses, and we want the percent that did not. So we need to take our whole, 225, subtract the 180 that did wear glasses or contact lenses, and that's going to lead us with the part of 45 teachers that did not wear either contact lenses or glasses. Now that we've done all that work, we finally have the two pieces of information that we need, the part and the whole. So let's go ahead and divide up to get our percent here. 225 does not go into 45. We know that, but we can go ahead and add our zero here. And it looks like we might be able to just double this. Let's see what happens when we multiply it by 2. It looks like we're going to get exactly what we need. So our answer is going to be 0 0.2. And we know that 0 0.2, that is the same as 20%, because you move the decimal over once, twice. So sometimes you need to do a little bit of addition and subtraction to find the part of the whole if they don't give it to you.